you can set up a bill approval workflow in QuickBooks so your team can request approval for bills that meet certain criteria, like over a set amount or from a specific supplier. You just need to have QuickBooks Online Advanced. Let's go over how to set up users and roles that will work with bills and then how to set up a bill approval workflow. Before you set up bill approval workflows, you should take a look at your team's roles and permissions. To learn more about how to set up users and roles, check out this video. With your users and roles set up, you're ready to create your bill approval workflow. Note that only admins can set up workflows. Select Workflow Automation and then Approvals. Select the Bill Multi-Condition Approval Template. We'll call this workflow Bill Approvals. This workflow triggers when you or someone on your team creates or edits a bill. Based on the amount of the bill, QuickBooks either automatically approves it or contacts someone on your team to look at the bill before it's approved. In the When This Happens boxes, you select what you want QuickBooks to look for. And in the Do This box, you select what you want QuickBooks to do. Select the first When This Happens box. For this condition, QuickBooks looks for bills between zero and £1,000, but you can change these numbers or add another condition, like the supplier that sent you the bill or the terms of the bill. Select Save to confirm any changes. If a bill matches those conditions, this is what happens. And if it doesn't, there's a different result. Select the box to edit or delete what you want QuickBooks to do. Here you see what QuickBooks does if someone on your team records or edits a bill that is between zero and £1,000. If you want someone to approve the bill, select their name from the list. This is the list of users you set up earlier with bill approver, access and admins. Then select how you want QuickBooks to notify them. Since these bills are lowest on the pound amount scale, let's just automatically approve them. Select Delete, then select Delete again to confirm. If you want to add the action back or add a different condition, select the plus option. Next, set the action you want QuickBooks to perform if you record or edit a bill matching these conditions. Select the Do This box. For this type of bill, you want a team member to approve the bill before you pay it. So, select their name from the list and then select how you want to notify them. Note that if you select email, you'll need to add their email address here or else it will go to your business's email address by default. Select Save Email. Select Save. Make sure to assign someone from your team for any Do This box. You can't save the workflow if you leave any action empty. Note that you can only have one active bill approval workflow. So, set up all of the criteria you want QuickBooks to check for in this window. When you've filled everything out, select Save and Turn On. QuickBooks lists your new workflow in the My Workflows tab. From here, you can turn the workflow on or off and also edit, copy, or delete it. Now let's take a look at what the approval process looks like. Your team members with proper permissions can still fill out and save bills. But if they record a bill that meets the conditions you've entered, they'll need to submit it for approval. If you've assigned someone as the approver for your bill and chose for them to receive the task during the approval workflow setup, they'll see the unapproved bills in tasks. From here, they can approve the bills. You can also track bills from Expenses Bills. From here, you can track the approval status of bills and pay them if you have the permissions to do so. If you're an admin, you can pay approved bills and also unapproved bills. Watch this video to learn more about recording and paying bills. Now you're ready to set up your own bill approval workflow to help automate your work.